Hi! <laughs> How's it going? I'm Sean, aka Gumpy VA, and today I'm going to be talking about my picks for the top three action webtoons that are must reads in 2022. I redid my setup and I'm trying out a new style of content, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So, I read an unhealthy amount of webtoons and manga, but I primarily stick to webtoons. However, since I do read so many, I have recommendations for days. I'll be talking about a couple different factors in regards to these webtoons, them being quality of story, quality of art, bingeability, and uniqueness. These are some of the things that I believe to be very important when picking up a new series, so let's get right into it. My first webtoon recommendation is Omniscient Reader. This series is adapted from the light novel Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. We follow our protagonist, Dokja Kim, who is an average office worker whose literal only interest was reading the light novel Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. Unfortunately for him, or maybe fortunately depending on how you look at it, this light novel becomes reality. He is the only person who knows how this story will play out. With a vast knowledge and understanding of the world that he's been thrust into, he now has to fight to survive. And who knows, maybe he'll even make a few changes along the way. Now, I had very low hopes when initially checking out Omniscient Reader, because, let's be honest, in the modern anime, manga, webtoon scene, someone getting thrust into a fantasy world is not a new or really original idea at all. But I was immediately blown away by the amazing art and how the overpowered MC in a fantasy world trope was actually done. Instead of him getting isekai into another world, the world around him changes. He's not the only real person affected by this issue, which is a really refreshing take in my opinion. Let's talk about my first criteria, quality of story. As I stated, it's no secret that the market is currently oversaturated with these types of stories, but Omniscient Reader is done well. The series establishes and introduces characters in a way that will leave an impact, so you're not left scrambling to remember who this recurring character from 40 chapters ago was. As for the arcs, or scenarios as they're called in Omniscient Reader, I've yet to encounter one that left me unsatisfied or bored. It's an entertaining story to say the least. Moving on, let's talk about quality of art. As I mentioned previously, this story has absolutely amazing artwork. The art for this webtoon is actually done by the same studio who does the art for other very popular webtoons, such as Soul Leveling and Overgeared. So you can expect to see some crazy high quality artwork while reading. Now, what's Omniscient Reader's bingeability looking like? If you're anything like me, when you pick up a webtoon or manga series, you'll want to see a decent amount of content. At the time of recording this video, Omniscient Reader has 87 chapters available, with consistent weekly updates. So there isn't a ludicrous amount to catch up on, but there's more than enough to get you interested and keep you hooked. The final criteria I want to discuss is uniqueness. Overall, I'd say it's a standout story in an incredibly crowded category. The combination of great writing and incredible visuals makes Omniscient Reader a must-read in 2022. Be sure to check it out, you will not be disappointed. My second webtoon recommendation is going to be Tower of God. Tower of God is an original work that was both written and illustrated by Sue. We follow our protagonist 25th Bam, otherwise known as Bam. I know it's properly pronounced Bam, but I'm just gonna say Bam because that's how I've read it for like 6 years, okay, I'm sorry. Bam has spent a majority of his life trapped in a dark and mysterious cave, and his only interactions have come from his one and only friend, Rachel. But everything changes when Rachel is chosen to enter the tower. Bam is devastated by the thought of losing his only friend, and unfortunately for him, you can't enter the tower without being chosen to. But despite this, Bam manages to force his way into the tower with his own strength. This is something that is rarely ever seen. And that's where our story begins. Now, Tower of God is in a new webtoon by any means. It's been around for a little while. Since 2010 for Korean readers and 2014 for English, actually. Nevertheless, the way the series has evolved and grown over the years is nothing short of amazing. Let's talk about the quality of story. I'd be lying if I said Tower of God had the perfect story. There have been so many arcs that I've just up and forgotten about, not due to the content being bad or anything, but just because there's constantly bigger and crazier things happening that it kind of overshadows what happened before. Obviously, there are key things that will stick out to you, but as someone who has been weekly on this series for years and years, I couldn't tell you about your favorite side character from 150 chapters ago. Things can get very complicated and muddled in my opinion, but when the series gets good, it gets really good. Tower of God has some insane fights. 
Not to mention the character development that'll remind you why it's one of the most popular webtoons today. Let's move on to quality of art. Throughout the run of Tower of God, one thing is certain, and it's that the art has improved in quality dramatically. While reading, it feels as if you're following along Sue's journey as an artist. It's a really unique experience to watch a creator grow with their series, and it's something that can't be undervalued. If you look at comparisons from when the series was first released to some of the most recent chapters, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The art in this series has evolved into something truly phenomenal. I can't give it enough praise. It's just so good. Moving on to bingeability. At the time of recording this video, there are currently a whopping 524 chapters out, spanning over three separate seasons, so there is more than enough content for you to get your fix. Now, let's talk about uniqueness. From the setting of the story to the overall plot, Tower of God is one of the most unique action webtoons out at the moment. With a crazy in-depth universe and incredible artwork, it's a series you can easily get lost in, in a good way. If you haven't started reading it yet, be sure to check it out. You won't regret it. The last webtoon recommendation I want to talk about is Viral Hit. Viral Hit is a webtoon written by Tajin Park, who you might know from his other amazing hit webtoon, Lookism. In this story, we follow Hobin Yu, who is our poor, scrawny, picked-on protagonist. After a fight between him and one of his classmates is accidentally live-streamed, he comes to realize the potential revenue that fighting can bring him. But there's a problem with this. He has no idea how to fight. So how do you spontaneously learn how to do something in the fastest, cheapest way possible as a teenager? YouTube videos in your room, of course. Or in the viral hit universe, new tube videos. Don't judge, they gotta avoid that copyright somehow. So we follow Hobin on his quest to get stronger and his quest to escape poverty. Thus, we have viral hit. There's something special about how webtoons by Tajin Park unfold. They're simplistic, but have real depth to them. It feels like the characters in Viral Hit are real people who have actual emotions, not some high fantasy protagonist who can just deal with every situation with no hiccups. So let's talk about Viral Hit's quality of story. All I have to say is, it does not miss. The progression of not only Hobin, but those around him as characters, and the goals that they have, is just fantastic. There hasn't been a lull in the story up until this point. There's always something going on, and characters that were introduced earlier in the series will consistently come back and play some role in the current ongoing story. I have a problem with character introductions in typical webtoons. It really irks me when a character is introduced, gets a whole backstory that spans weeks worth of chapters, and then just never shows up again. Viral Hit really knows how to balance who they give their screen time to, while still being able to include minor characters. With that being said, let's talk about the quality of art. The art is... Good. Great, even. It's hard to put into words how Tajin Park's art style is, but I'll try my best. It's realistic by webtoon standards. The people all make sense proportionally, and their personalities really fit with their body types. But it's also larger than life, like everything is taken up a notch and dramatized because, you know, it is a webtoon after all. The art is incredibly well done, and will leave you more than satisfied with the visuals. Now, let's talk bingeability. Viral Hit currently has 101 released chapters as of the recording of this video. So, a hefty amount that's more than enough to keep you entertained for a while. Alright, let's talk about uniqueness. Viral Hit is unique in the way that the main character gets strong, him training with videos he finds online. But generally speaking, it isn't the most unique webtoon out there. It's your classic teenager gets stronger for whatever reason and has to fight to solve their problems. <laughs> but like Omniscient Reader, it's just done really well. The depth of story and characters really makes Viral Hit stand out more than the other action webtoons you'll find today. That, combined with the stellar art, makes Viral Hit a must-read in 2022. Hi everyone! All of the webtoon picks today are available on the Webtoon app. You can find this app on both the Google Play and Apple Store. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I'm just saying, if you want to sponsor me, I mean, I'm not gonna say no line, hit me up please. But anyways, <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really enjoyed doing this commentary video, and I'm looking forward to doing more, so stay tuned. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this style of content in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, have a great day.